Hello, my name is Erin Stoles. Today I'm going to review what the CDC recommends for donning and doffing personal protective equipment for airborne and contact isolation. These recommendations and guidelines can be made available throughout the hospital. The first step for donning PPE is practicing good hand hygiene. Once this is complete, you're ready to get started. The first thing you're going to put on is your gown. These PPE carts will be made available outside of isolation rooms throughout the hospital. To put your gown on, the part of the gown that's open in the, is going to be the back of your gown. Your arms go through just like this. It's pulled over your head and your thumbs will go into the holes like this. The back of your gown should be tied but not so tight that you won't be able to remove the tie once you have to take your gown off. Okay. The next thing you're gonna put on is your respirator. We have two different types of respirator at the hospital. The Technol, otherwise known as the Duckbill N95, and the 3M brand or the Teal, also an N95. You might see either of these. It's very important that you are um, fit tested uh, at least annually. The first I'll demonstrate is the Technol. There are two strings just like this. You're going to affix your chin to the bottom of the respirator and the strings are, one of the strings is pulled to the roof of your head while the other goes to the back of your neck like this. The metal piece is going to be pressed down with your fingers like this. Every single time you put on a respirator, it's very important that you do a fit check. With the Technol to do the fit check, all you're going to do is sharply inhale. If you can feel the respirator collapse across your face, you know that you have a good fit. So that's the entire process. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm gonna show how to take off the Technol at this time. To remove the Technol respirator, you're going to, with two hands, pull the back string up and over your head. Then with two hands, you're going to take the top string and pull this off. This will be disposed of in the biohazardous waste container. To put the 3M respirator on, what you're going to do is you're going to cup it like this, put your nose to where the top of the respirator is, and pull the top string to the crown of your head. The bottom string pulls over and goes to the back of your neck like this. Using your hands, you're gonna gently press down like this to form a nice seal. You do not wanna pinch the respirator, however, because that could lead to air escaping on the top here and uh, disrupting your seal. Same as before, you wanna do a fit check. With the 3M respirator to do the fit check, you're gonna cover the entire respirator with your hands and sharply inhale. If you can feel the respirator collapse across your face, you have a good fit. So that's good. The next step that I'm gonna do is the face shield. We have two different types of face shields available. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to show you this one. However, you might see these as well. They are both per perfectly effective. In order to put this face shield on, you're going to take the foam and affix it to your forehead and pull the string to the back of your head. Now your face shield is on and ready to go. The last step is your gloves. It's important to pick the glove that you typically would wear for your hands. And with your thumbs through the loops like this, you're going to pull the glove onto your hand as high onto your wrist as is feasible. You're now ready to go into the patient room. Now I'm going to review doffing procedures for PPE. If at any point your hands become contaminated during the doffing procedure, stop what you're doing and practice hand hygiene. The first thing to remove is your gloves. With your two gloved hands, you're going to take one and crumple the other up, pinch, and crumple that up into your hand. Only touching the inside of your glove, you want to stick your hand in like this and pull up and over and remove only touching the inside of the glove. This will be disposed of in the biohazardous waste container. 
The next thing you're going to remove is your face shield. Grabbing the band behind your head, you're going to pull the face shield and dispose of this in the biohazardous waste container. The next thing you'll remove is your gown. To begin moving your gown, you're going to start by undoing the tie in the back and by putting your hands under here and ripping like that. Now what you're going to do now that you have that inversion is only touching the insides, you're going to fold, only touching the insides of your gown and dispose of in the biohazardous waste container. You're now ready to leave the patient room. The last step of doffing your PPE is taking off your respirator. In order to remove your respirator, you'll take two hands and with the strap that's affixed to your neck, you'll pull up and over. Now, with two hands for the strap that's affixed to the crown of your head, you'll remove just like this, and this is disposed of in the biohazardous waste container. The last step of the process is practicing hand hygiene. You can do this either by washing your hands for 20 seconds or utilizing a hand sanitizer. If you have any questions about this process, reach out to your hospital's infection prevention or safety department. Thank you.